Okay, so in this video, I just wanted to give my quick thoughts on the Ceramic Engine. This is the newest game engine made with hacks. And I'm honestly always happy to see a new hacks game engine because it means more and more people can know about this great language. Okay, so Ceramic is a new 2D game engine or framework. I like the word framework actually, framework makes more sense. But anyway, this is something that I wish I had more time to play with, but I haven't as of late had the time to mess about with it. It looks really good. And the thing that gets me excited about this project over something like Hackspixel is the fact that you can export projects to Unity. So let me explain more about that. Let's scroll down in this blog post, which I will link in the description of this video. Let's go down to this image. So I'm gonna go back up, but let's look at this image first. And as you can see, you build your project and the Ceramic API can either export that to a Unity project, which means your game projects made in Ceramic can go straight to console. It can go to SDL with the clay backend. I don't know much about the clay backend, but it seems like it can magically export your game into C++ and WebGL. So that means it will work both on native desktop or mobile applications, as well as in the browser, which is great. As of now, I honestly can't see a use case for writing a project and exporting it to Node.js but I'm sure there are people out there who would love this ability. Now for me, this is a selling factor. As of now, if you wanted to make a game in Hackspixel and put it to console, the only console you can do that with is Nintendo Switch. If you make a Hackspixel game, it cannot be ported straight to PS4, PS5 or Xbox without any custom tinkering. And there are companies that can do that custom tinkering for you, but it will cost you money. So this project is exciting for me purely because I can make a game in ceramic, I can put it on web, I can put it on desktop, mobile, and straight to console without any special magic or tinkering needed. And this is what Jeremy, who created ceramic, outlined in this table here. So he goes through why ceramic is, I wouldn't say better, but different from all the other available hacks game engines right now. And for me, the advantage of a hacks flexel is the fact that it's not reliant on OpenFL. So Hacksflixel depends on OpenFL and OpenFL doesn't have great console support. It's also quite large. If you do have a Hacksflixel project and look into OpenFL slash Lime and see how much space it's taken up, you're looking at about 200 meg of space taken up for you to export your game using Lime and OpenFL and that's a lot of space. But apart from that, Hackspixel is a great engine. If you want to make a game that is running on mobile, web, and desktop, Hackspixel is perfect for that. Now, Heaps, on the other hand, has the advantage. Heaps, you can put games to console. But as Jeremy says here, mobile support isn't that great. Car, for me, is too low level. I like the high level API of Hackspixel. It's really easy to make a game quickly. And so I would rule that out. Lux, unfortunately, is no longer being developed in Hacks. It's using a language called Ren, and I really love using Hacks. So I don't want to learn another language just to use Lux, but I've heard great things about Lux and Ceramic itself is based off of Lux, which is good. So as you can tell from the date on this blog post, Ceramic is very new, but you can already do some really cool things with it. So if we look at some of the GIFs that Jeremy's posted, these animations are really smooth and I'm quite impressed he's been able to achieve that. He's also used it to make a game for Ludum Dare, which I played and it's really smooth. It runs well, it looks good and it plays well too. So that gives me hope about the engine. But the only problem for me with the engine right now is that it's too new. So if we look at Ceramic's GitHub page, this is all the documentation that currently exists for the game engine. And I know Jeremy has a few posts on his blog, so he's got two posts about Ceramic. This one is very detailed about how to start a project in Ceramic. But when it comes to documentation, examples, I haven't really seen that yet, and I know it's coming. I know Jeremy right now is working on the API and this is a screenshot of it. But at the moment, this is all we get. And it's quite bare bones. I mean, if you look at your first project, it's just this text, that's it. So if I wanted to achieve something in Ceramic, that didn't have a demo or a sample project, I'd have to do it on my own from scratch. And it will take me a lot longer to do that than to use something like Flixel, which has loads of demos out there, which has loads of sample projects and a community that is willing to help. Not to say that the Ceramic Discord community 
isn't willing to help. It's just the hack split saw community is bigger, therefore help will come quicker. But I am really looking forward to trying out the ceramic. In the future, I'm hoping to do another video giving more details about my experience with it. Ultimately, I'm happy Jeremy has made this product open source and it's great to see more people contributing to the open source community. Unlike Keyreel, who has created a great engine called Yum with Hacks, C++ and OpenGL and has not made it open source, which boggles my mind. This looks like a great 3D game engine. I mean, look at the kind of stuff he's been able to do with this. This looks great. I mean, this guy made his own engine with Hacks and C++ and is not open sourcing it, which is insane. So if you're listening to this key reel, please open source your engine. Let people try it out, let people experiment and follow Jeremy. Basically, do what Jeremy did, make an engine, share it, write some docs. And who knows, maybe it could be used to make the next Dead Cells or Friday Night Funking. Anyway, thanks for watching my video. I hope this gave you some insight on ceramic. Try it out. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I'm going to put some links to what I've been talking about in the description. And of course, like this video, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.